Hello everyone. In this video I'm going to explain how to provide the source details for, for an image that you download from the internet. I'm also going to explain how to retrieve lost details. Just imagine you've got an image on a worksheet or a set of slides. You've previously created them. You want to communicate them during the survey period, but where did you get those sources? You have to report on what you can. So I'm going to show you how to have a go at retrieving that information. Okay, so if we go into Google Images, we'll do a search for cats. I like this cat. I'll drag it onto the desktop, so that's a JPEG. I'll click onto that source. I will visit the site. Okay, so I'm going to copy the URL address from that site. And there are a whole lot of images of cats on this page, so I need some kind of identification in the description. So enter your cat in the Saturday Cataday photo. Maybe enter your cat would be sufficient. So I'll go into the submit usage record. Okay. It's an image. We need to report on an, each image separately, unfortunately. Okay, how many images? Well, one. Um, okay, web page, download, four copies. We're making it available. Total of 37 staff and students. Telling students to copy, print, save, etc. 30 of them will display and project as well. We'll copy and paste the URL and if we go back in there, enter your cat. So enter your cat. Okay, let's just see if we've got all the details that we need. Okay, that's fine. It's accepted that. Now, just imagine what we might do actually is we might drag that image onto a worksheet. Okay. So I've showed you just then how to find the details and report the details, but this is the worksheet that we've previously made. Imagine that we don't have a clue where we got this. Okay, so we can try dragging it off the document. We end up with a picture clipping. We can also do a screenshot of that image. Let me just assure you without demonstrating that the picture clipping will be useless for this process. You just can't drag it off the document. So we're going to put the picture clipping in the bin. And we're going to use the screenshot to retrieve our details. Okay, so we've got our Google image screen up. This is the icon for us to search through image. We can upload the image. Who can be bothered? Let's just drag it here and see what happens. Okay, there's our friend, visually similar images. We can see that it's been used on quite a few sites. You know what, you could just click onto one of these. Copy the URL address and the title into your cat as before. Okay, but remember this is the source that we, we had to do some detective work. So I won't go through the process again, it's exactly the same as what I previously explained. So as soon as we hit sourced from web page, we get these fields coming up. 
and we enter the details. Okay. So in terms of PowerPoint slides that you'll be projecting, uploading, make, making available for your learners during the survey period, rather than having to record on each of those images separately, I've been told that you can actually use the process I've explained to get the source details and just paste them underneath the image on each slide. Okay, and then you can just upload the slide. I've been told that that is okay. With the worksheets that you've scanned or just created through your computer and uploaded, you will have to use screenshots to try to find out where those images came from. If you are unsuccessful, don't worry. Say you've got the worksheet, you don't, there are images on it, there's text on it, you don't have a clue where you got it. Just hit other and either hit image only depending on what's on the sheet or combination and then you're going to attach material. You've done your best, you've had a look, just attach the material and let Copyright Australia work it out. Okay, I hope that's helpful.